Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Si awit kayo sa Panginoon at Alleluia. Magsilawin sa Panginoon. Uliin, uliin ang kanyang pangalan. Ipahayag, ipahayag Tunod niya ang kalimasan, magsilawit kayo sa Panginoon. Alleluia, magsilawit sa Panginoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate joyfully this Mass together with our Blessed Mother Mary as she continually rejoices with the resurrection of her Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And in this Mass, we are also reminded that like Mary, we might become a true disciple of her Son, walking closely with our Lord. To prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask Him for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to gladden the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we pray, that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may receive the joys of everlasting life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with the spirit and wisdom whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the Word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented this man to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp with a ten-string lyre. Chant his praises. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Hallelujah. Ah, Hallelujah. Ah, Hallelujah. 
Christ is risen, who made all things. He has shown mercy on all people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When it was evening, the disciples of Jesus went down to the sea, embarked in a boat, and went across the sea to Capernaum. It had already grown dark. And Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea was stirred up because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they began to be afraid. But he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore to which they were heading. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> In our readings for today, we hear the use of the word disciple. The stories of the disciples of Jesus, and it is particularly used, the word disciple is particularly used in the Gospels and especially in the New Testament. When the writers of the Holy Scriptures are referring to the followers of Jesus. Ang tawag po sa mga tagasunod ni Jesus, lalo na po sa bagong tipan, ay ang kanyang mga disipulo o alagad. But let us remember, my dear brothers and sisters, that being a disciple according to the Gospels, and the New Testament is not just being a student. That is a different word. A student is one who studies, who listens, who learns from a teacher. But being a disciple is a different one. It is not just studying from a teacher. It is not just learning. But in the New Testament, the use of the word disciple means to walk closely with your master. Ang pagiging alagad, ang pagiging disipulo ay hindi lamang pakikinig na matuto ka, kundi naglalakad ka katabi ng iyong guro. And this teaches us, my dear brothers and sisters, that being a disciple is not just studying, but learning how to live from your Master. In our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, we see the number of disciples continuing to grow. The community of disciples are growing. And what do these disciples do? They are not just learning the scriptures. Of course, learning the scriptures is part of being a disciple of Jesus. 
But let us see that in that community, they were praying together, they were preaching the word together, but also they were taking care of the poor in their community. That is being a disciple of Jesus. Sila po ay hindi lamang natuto kay Jesus, hindi lamang sila nag-aral, hindi lamang sila nagmemorya ng mga salita, kundi isinabuhay nila ang buhay na ipinakita ni Jesus sa kanila. They walked closely with Jesus. They walked closely to the life taught to them by Jesus. That is being a disciple. Yan po ang pagiging alagad. Ang maglakad kapiling si Jesus at ang buhay natin nawa ay hinihiling natin maging katulad din kung paanong naisabuhay ni Jesus ang kanyang buhay dito sa mundo. And in our gospel reading today, we hear about the disciples walking closely with Jesus even in danger. Makikita po natin sa ebanghelyo na ating narinig na kung ang mga alagad ay naglalakad malapit kay Jesus, iniwan nila ang kanilang trabaho, iniwan nila ang kanilang mga pamilya para sila ay makapaglakad patungo kay Jesus, kapiling ni Jesus. Parang pinangangako sa atin ni Jesus sa Ebanghelyo na kapag tayo ay maging kanyang alagad, maglakad kapiling niya, siya rin naman ay maglalakad. Lalo na kapag tayo ay nasa oras ng panganib. In our gospel reading today, we see Jesus walking on the sea, trying to pacify, to comfort the disciples in the midst of the storm, in the midst of danger. Jesus is willing to walk on water so that even in times of danger, He can walk with us side by side, telling us, It is I. Do not be afraid. You may be treading on dangerous waters, but Jesus, our Master, is still walking beside us. That is our Master, Jesus Christ. If we, as disciples of Jesus, closely walk beside our Master, listening to Him, learning from Him, looking at Him, imitating Him in His daily life, and wishing that all of us also, as disciples, imitate how Jesus lived His life on this earth. Jesus, our Master, also promises us, if you are my disciple and you walk closely beside me, I, as your master, will also walk closely with you. Even when you are in dangerous waters and you are in fear, you are trembling because of fear, I am willing to walk beside you. I am even willing to walk on water for you so that you will remember that your master will not abandon you. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Mass, let us pray for that relationship with Jesus. We pray that we might become truly faithful disciples of Jesus, walking closely beside our Master, 
And when we become faithful disciples, our Master promises us that He will also walk closely with us. Amen. With renewed confidence in the love of God, whose help is always close at hand, we humbly present our requests before Him. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit may guide the Holy Father and the bishops in guiding the flock especially in the crisis that face the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That God may grant us an abundant gift of faith so that we may have the courage to face life's problems. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are drifting aimlessly in the stormy sea of life may find in the church a haven of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bring Christ's compassion to the sick by being channels of His loving care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may have heavenly rest in, Lord, in the Lord's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, increase our faith so that we may enter more fully into the life of the Church and so accomplish your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, Holy Father, this offering of our humility, which we bring you with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary. And grant, we pray, that it may be for us, who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth, and our eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, 
but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through Him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For His death is our ransom from death, and in His rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall.